Hopefully Lee can hear me. I did want to ask Lee's opinion on Chelsea this weekend because, uh, you know, a lot of Chelsea fans had a lot to say last week when they drew with you. But another defeat for them. Um, what, what's your take on that? Is that just their missing firepower? Or do you think this is the manager, you know, playing two right backs on the bench didn't start one as an example, like playing Matt, playing uh, Conor Gallagher, as, uh, not just in the double pivot, but making Conor Gallagher captain. Are these mistakes are hurting Chelsea or is this just growing pains as they get better? It's the manager. It's the manager. You, you're playing Jackson up front and wearing a striker. You, you, you put in... What, what, like, what is he? What is he? He's a, ba- he's a bang average footballer that runs around a lot. He's basically just a lanky Eddie and Ketia. I said that when I first see him. I can't remember what game it was, one of their first games of the season. I said, oh, look at him. He runs around a lot. He's He's got a bit of physicality. Yeah, he's got a poor first touch and he don't finish his chances. He said he's a bit of a problem. Of course he is. Because he'll make a nuisance of himself. But I can't remember what game it was. It was one of their first games of the season. I think it might have been Liverpool. I think it might have been the Liverpool game. I may be wrong. But but yeah, I was like, is the lanky Eddie. Yeah, and every now and again he'll score and everyone will go, oh, yeah, see... Mate, he did nothing. He did absolutely nothing at Villarreal. Why is anyone surprised? Like, Conor Gallagher, cool, well, everyone's high. Oh, yeah, he played well against Arsenal. And yeah, he did. But why is he even in that squad? They've done a billion quid. I don't even know half their players. That's, and the only reason I know that it's a guy called Washington that was up front the other day, yeah, is because Goonie told me. I, like, on a show we did, like, we did with Said. I was like, who's the fella up front? I don't even recognise him. I, <laughs> I looked at that Chelsea team. So I set up my watch long. I went live. And that Chelsea game had about 12, 15 minutes to go. I was like, I genuinely do not recognise half of that Chelsea team. I don't know who they are. And they've done a billion quid on that. Yeah, so that goes down to the ownership. That goes down to the manager. Yeah, Poch is just a yes man. Yeah, he's got no track record of being successful anywhere other than PSG. And let's be real, if you can't win at PSG, you're getting sacked anyway. And even if you do win, you're probably still getting sacked. Right, so Cool. Go to PSG, nick a couple of trophies. Everywhere else he's been, like he's living off of the back of Southampton and Spurs, mate, and he did nothing at either of them apart from get pretty football. Like, let's just be real with it. Poch bottled every big co- competition he was in, every final, every semi-final. Yeah, when he was at Southampton, they sold every decent player they had. So, why why the hype around Poch? Yeah, he's he's got he's got Reese James and Gusto. I think it was on the bench at the weekend. He's playing Enzo in in um in a different position to where he should be playing. He's playing further forward. Why? Oh, but he's created the most chances. And what? You can't score him, mate. Yeah, if you're going to play Conor Gallagher, you play him at the 10 and Enzo next to Caicedo. It's basic basics. Yeah, then you're playing... Big up Johnny Minerals. Chelsea, Chelsea. Front by Chelsea. Right? But then you're... He's, so, he's so Chelsea. I heard him talk the other day. I'm like, I bet his farts smell like jelly deals, bruv. Do you know what I mean? He's, <laughs> he's so cockney. It's unbelievable. Um, <laughs> Hey, man, man's down the Imperial pub, bro. Like, do you know what I mean? 20 quid a pint and that. Yeah, but but yeah, it's a different Chelsea, man. And it's 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 funny, but it's it's not at the same time. It's gone past the funny stage, isn't it? Yeah, a bit like Man United, it's gone past the funny stage. Like it's like, yeah, we're we're bored of laughing at you two now. Like, I feel a bit sorry for you in a way, but but at the same time, it's that 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 club right there. Right, since Todd Bowley and Egbali have come into that football club, you could literally, you would, if you had said the day that Abramovich got out of that football club and got forced out of that football club, if you had said everything that's happened along the way and predicted what's going to happen, you would have, you would have been carted off by the men in white coats, mate. Mm. Yeah, and you look at it now and you're just like, how to ruin a football club in 12 to 15 months? You could make a film out of that. Yeah, and they can turn it around. They it's can turn it around, though. Do you think they can turn it around, though, Lee? In terms of if they went out in January and got Victor Rushman or, or Ivan Tony, well, why and... would he go there? Because I why think if you he... them two play... I know Osman's heroes, Drogba, and all that, but come on, mate. Yeah, why would Ivan Tony go and waste his career there? Yeah, Ivan Tony will be the main man there, and we've seen him on. I think it was Diary of CEO with uh, Stuart Bartley. I think his name was saying, "I want to be the main man at a club." Well, he can be the main man at Arsenal. He can be the main man at Tottenham. And they're in better positions right now, structurally, yeah, on the pitch, managerially, yeah, squad-wise, settled squad, more experienced squads than Chelsea will will be if he goes there. And he'll just be another another number in a team that's going to have all eyes on him failing. Yeah, and I don't think Ivan Tony would fail necessarily at Chelsea, but he ain't going to hit the numbers he'd hit at Tottenham or Arsenal. 
yeah even man united yeah because chelsea yes they create a lot of chances and they ain't got anyone to put them in the back of the net but ultimately it's not just the chances they're creating they are an absolute mess terry yeah they've done over a billion quid and they ain't got a striker or a goalkeeper yeah the goalkeeper's bang average he was third, third choice at brighton and their striker was a bang average winger from Villarreal. like make that make sense then they've got a kid called washington what Matson and all that like i don't even know who these people are no disrespect to them yeah i don't know who you are like nobody knows who these people are and it's like you've done a billion quid and your best player is tiago silva and he's 39. yeah and even he looks out of his depth why because the rest of them are bang average reese james can't stay fit top player when he is enzo's quality yeah but the best two players in that team for me are enzo yeah and and the center back tiago other than that i'm looking at their squad going boy i wouldn't take any of you lot really mudrick's scored against us he's going to live off of that for the rest of the season yeah sterling's absolutely flopped since he's gone there showed sparks this season yeah and little sparkles but not really like he's not really done it the the boy they bought from city palmer he's done all right since he's gone there like and he's walked into the club and he's been one of their better players this season like i, I just look at it and i just think wow i think they can buy their way out of it but then how much more can they keep spending before it comes to a well actually on our books we've lost 800 million so do you, do you yeah, feel like, like they've wasted, do you think they've wasted the best part of the billion pound they've spent then because damn it, right. It, damn really? right yeah. terry if you're going to go and spend that much money in such a short space of time you go and get harry kane you go and get madison you go and get center backs that are decent and Lissandro martinez for example he was available why didn't they go and get him? Yeah, why didn't they go and get him? Why didn't they go and get, I don't know, so, uh, the, why didn't they bring Gai back from Palace? Like, they could have brought him back. I'm sure they've got some clue somewhere to get him back, maybe. Why didn't they go and get Tamori back? Yeah, why don't they go and buy Anderson from Palace? He's a decent centre-back. Why didn't they, why weren't they in for Van der Ven? He's looked half decent since he's got it. Yeah, there was decent centre-backs, but they've got this policy, yeah, the under-25s or something. And, and, mate i'm sorry yeah the only ever youth project i've ever seen that's really done anything in the premier league history was the class of 92. let's just be real with it the youth project yeah. arsenal had when thierry on left which weren't dressed up as a youth project our squad was younger the season thierry on left we were in a title challenge for about 26 games fell away the following season champions league semi that squad was younger than our squad last season mm. right we, yes, we've seen Tottenham when they were in a title challenge against Conte's Chelsea. Their squad was younger than the team we had last season. None of these teams won anything, Terry. What makes Chelsea's ownership and board level think that by going and buying all of these youngsters, they're suddenly going to miraculously overtake Pep Guardiola's Man City, Klopp's Liverpool, even get above Arsenal? Yeah, and currently right now, they're not getting even in the top half, mate. They're not even getting above Villa this season if they carry on. And then has been there for five minutes. The class of 92 wasn't even a youth project, though, per se. Well, no, you had, in, you had Bruce and all of that lot there. Yeah, you? Okay. if you actually look at the core of that team, it, you, had, you, had those five, you, had, you had those five, six youngsters that were in the squad. Of The squads were smaller back then, like 18 or so people. But the other 12, 13 members of that squad were all mid-20s and above and experienced. And I, I do get where you're coming from. Look, I, I do think it's recoverable. I just think what they need to go out and do over January in the summer is maybe spend big, but they have to go out and add, say, three or four players who are 25, 26 years of age, experience, maybe have won things or of a high quality to come in and give a, a, a deeper spine to this team because they're young and it's hard to... Like I said it last season, if there was five more games to play last year, they would have gone down because go on, those... Sir. Those players, one, are not experienced and two, when you buy players who have been at big clubs or, you know you know, of the level of player they're buying, they're not used to being in these dog fights at the bottom of the hardest league in the world. It's hard for them. It's a different kind of <coughs> mindset, if that makes sense. And I think like watching what Chelsea do, I, look, I've said it with Poch. I think, he'll, I think he'll get them playing really good football and some of their movements, some of their approach play is really good. The one thing I've always doubted about him is his ability when the going gets tough to get over the line. I, I've said it, I, I, he has yet to do anything to change my mind, but I still yeah. think... I still think Chelsea's new owners are going to get it right. I still think they will create, whether it's with Potts or somebody else, I still think they will create a very dangerous and a very potent Chelsea team at some point in the near future. I understand what they're doing. I just think they, the, the one thing I'm now looking at, I'm thinking, yeah, they really need to add some more experience to this team. 
for the young players to learn off and be guided by. Because at the moment, they need somebody having Conor Gallagher is the end of their careers, the last two years or three years of their career, players that have done it at a decent level, won trophies, you know, that are touching 29, 30, got a couple of years left. Yeah, and as for that geezer in the chat, the CFC Reaper, you can tell he just don't watch us. Bro, I know more about Chelsea than half of your fan base, mate. <laughs> yeah, like I worked with Tony Rolf, SW6 Chelsea, mate, for 15 years. Yeah, I was in the car when Abramovich bought the club, the same car he was driving. Yeah, I know way more about Chelsea than most of your fan base. You probably weren't even born back then, mate. Yeah, so what are you waffling about? Yeah, it's like, what are you waffling about? Like, honestly, these Chelsea fans crack me up. You slag their club off, and I ain't even slagging their club off. I'm giving an honest assessment on where they're at. Yeah, and they will start crying. Bro, your team have struggled to get in the top half of the table since Abramovich left. Yeah, what are you sitting there looking at? Oh, it's a project. Where's the ruthlessness you lot had under Abramovich? Yeah, now it's a project, phases and dogs. Yeah, you'll have a dog down there next. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? Like, what, what's happened to their fan thing. base? They're all accepting it. Like, not all of them, but a lot of them. Yeah, the younger ones online, they're accepting it. The older lot are fuming. Johnny Minerals ain't. I, I, I did a show with Johnny the other day, man. Big up to Johnny Minerals, yeah? Like, at the end of the day, Right. They are way, way away from the club they were under Abramovich. Hiring and firing, staying at the top. Yes, they hadn't won a league for the last few years under Abramovich. But now they're all sitting there online. Most of their content creators are just sex, uh, accepting, oh, oh well, it is what it is, where it gets to 40 points. And they're all laughing about it. What are you waffling about? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Your club's going down to Swanee, mate, and you're sitting there laughing. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, this here says... Uh... Uh, Terry, please link the article. The shares control. Yeah, I'll um, yeah, I'll, I'll 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 dig it out. I'll put it into the chat in a minute, mate. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it in the chat. I just didn't want to go and search for it now. Uh, I'll get that done for you, my bro. Thank you. Uh, Ten hugs needs to be sacked. Uh, he Terry, he is an embarrassment to to the nation. Well, he's not English, but I hear you. Uh, you as we you know, know the Glazers so negative. Glazers have all the money and back Ten Hag spent four hundred million. We are shit. I want to change with you, Lee. We want to get changed with you, Lee. You want to get changed with you. By the way, there's a a Chelsea challenge, Lee. Bro, and again, I know more about Man United than you, mate. Go away. You're a weirdo. Like, honestly, he's stalking Terry at work and all of that. No, no, no. I ain't about that. Yeah. There's (laughs) there's a Chelsea fan, by the way, who's respectful. He's not a a weirdo. Um, he, He wants to come on and challenge you in your Chelsea opinion. He's a good guy. Like, yeah, is that cool, man, yeah? Come on, listen. At the end of the day, yeah, get him on, get him on. Listen, I ain't got no animosity against Chelsea. I've actually sat mm. here on many shows over the years, yeah, not just my channel, but other channels as well, and said we should be rivals with Chelsea because of what they achieved in 20 years. Yeah, yeah, that's they did everything we smashed the stadium down for, right? But now all of a sudden they're in the doldrums, they're down in the mid table for the last 12 months, and because you then call that out. And say, well, they're a bit of a shambles. They've done this, this, and this. Yeah, all of a sudden, everyone wants a challenge. Bro, your club's in the gutter. <laughs> like, come on. Mm. If he wants to come on, get him on. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm just saying, yeah, I'm just saying, he's not one of these, he's not like a weird clout chaser. Good guy, Don, he's a Chelsea fan, comes on the show quite a bit. 